What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and we're exactly 10 days away from the Worldwide Developers Conference in 2016. Apple has sent out all their invites, their press invites, this is ready to go. So in this video, just a quick recap of what we're about to see when it comes to products and in general software wise. So first off, Worldwide Developers Conference is clearly based on developers. Software is the name of the game. So we will be seeing iOS 10, Mac OS 10.12, TV OS and the new watch OS as well. So a bunch of software stuff. But beyond that, there will be new hardware as well. So let's start with iOS 10. The WWDC app was just updated today with a dark theme. So what this leads me to believe is that iOS 10 will indeed focus on a night mode. That's going to be one of its biggest selling points. So everything dark. And of course, Apple is moving to OLED displays in the future with the new iPhone in 2017, a dark mode is a must better to implement it right now. It'd be something really, really cool, you know, something absolutely necessary. Of course, Unicode 9.0 should be supported. So 72 new emojis, including a really cool shark one and a bunch, a bunch of more expressions, face palms. So a lot of good stuff. I cannot wait to use these. And Siri is supposed to receive a huge overhaul, maybe even a third party API for developers, which would be great for tying it in with a ton of different apps. It's supposed to get a lot smarter and there's supposed to be a very easy way to hide system apps in iOS 10, which would be awesome. Also a huge overhaul of the music application. Apple's supposed to remove the connect page because really it didn't work out. And overall, they're gonna make the interface a lot easier because it is a little bit convoluted around. Everything is all over the place. They're gonna wrap it in and uh, bring it together. Now, as far as OS 10 goes, it's supposed to be renamed to Mac OS. It was even referenced on one of Apple's web pages that it would be called that. So certainly a hint we can take. Other than that, Siri should be implemented into the new version of OS 10 as well. So watch OS 3, TV OS 10. Those are all going to be new as well. We don't really know anything about those, but possibly a new Apple TV, uh, some sort of TV show subscription. So that's just about it for software. So moving on to hardware, it's long been rumored that Apple will be announcing new MacBooks at this event. There's a new leak of the chassis of the 2016 MacBook Pro. It's thinner. The bezels are shrunk all around the keyboard and does seem a little bit more compact. Now the top row of function keys has been removed in its place is a touch bar. So some sort of optimization going on there. That's it. We really don't know much else about it, but there might be touch ID implemented as well. Now, will it be announced at WWDC? That is debatable. If it is announced, we won't be seeing it till the quarter four of 2016 regardless. So hopefully they do announce it. It'll make waiting easier even if we have to wait longer for it. And a Thunderbolt display. So it was thought that Apple would be releasing a Thunderbolt display with a built-in GPU. I mean, really, their Thunderbolt display is so old already and they're still selling it at the same price. No price drop. That is ridiculous. Hopefully for people like me that use a third-party LG display, we can finally get an upgrade to something from Apple because it's just a pain using a third-party display with my Mac Pro. Anyways, what might we see? A new Apple Watch. While it's likely Apple could announce it just because the time is right, the prices have been lowered for a while already, you know, all pointing to a new refresh, it might not happen just yet. But Make no mistake, it is very likely to happen later this year, if not right now. And what won't happen? Obviously, a new iPhone. A new iPhone has been announced at WWDC twice in the past, the 3GS and iPhone 4, but you know, the schedules just don't line up. That's ridiculous to expect one at WWDC. But overall, guys, that's it. Just a quick look at what we might see in WWDC. Some new products, possibly. Mostly software, because after all, that is what it's about. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for any and all Apple news. Peace.